Girl, you came into my life. I miss you so bad. I miss you so bad. I miss you, miss you so bad. Girl, you came into my life. I miss you so bad. I miss you, baby. Whatever. I miss you. <laughs> You think you know me? Relax. So good. So good to me. I love him so much. I can't treat niggas like big deals. These toys don't come in no kids meal. Big man, I'm not I've seen it. Now my girl, but I fucking like she is. They be fucking up my lyrics on genius. And these pussy ass critics repeat it. They say it's just even Stevens. I think it's just like the season. Y'all lives ain't got no meaning. And them deals ain't got no freedom. I can't just loop it and leave it. It's me when I lived in New York as a child. This is me when I lived in Flatbush. So, yeah, I used to really like Vaseline. I would eat Vaseline. I don't know why. So that's me with Vaseline like all over my head. <laughs> I posted this on Instagram and everybody laughed at me. So thanks for that. <laughs> but, um, yeah. That's me with like a nightstick or something, I don't know. It's probably my dad probably put me in this shit. That's my dad's hat. Yeah. Looks like I was a happy kid, but there was just so much fucked up shit going on at the house that it's just, it's kind of creepy to look at. What the fuck is going on here? I'm just on a lawn somewhere. I'm just like looking at stuff around the room. Just wondering like what was around me, because I, I don't I don't remember any of these pictures, not one of them.
Um, yeah, there's me peeking out TV. There's me next to the stereo. My mom told me I used to read, I used to like look at the back of TV and figure out how to rewire things and stuff. And like, she told me I used to like read the manuals for the VCR and stuff like, or read the manuals for like DVD players and figure out like weird things to do with them. And I do remember that. I remember them always coming to me asking me like weird shit. Like, but you know, I didn't think of it as like they were like getting me to do weird shit with the DVD they didn't know. You know, I just thought it was, I don't know. I just thought they were just, I thought it was cool that an adult wanted to like do something with my DVD or something, you know? But whatever. I don't know who dressed me in this shit, but why? Yeah, definitely, you have to definitely delete this next thing. This is the school I went to in Um, one of the, I went to two schools and one of them doesn't exist anymore. This is one of my best friends. A lot of the people in these pictures, you know, they're just dead or they're, um, well, they're not real to me anymore. This, like, era in my life right here. It doesn't exist anymore because I just had to move so much. But yeah, all these are friends I used to have. Yeah, who's a smart little bitch? 
much. That's me. That's me. Right, right, right. Who's a smart bitch? Me. I'm a smart bitch.
Done. How'd I do that? Come on, I'm dead now, but you know what I mean? I felt shit at one point too. That's all I'm trying to say. something you can have you can relate to because I don't you don't sample like that but um it's very difficult sometimes like asking begging somebody to like let you use their thing after yeah. you've already done it too and like I feel like everything I'm making now this new stuff I'm making is all sourced for me all the no more samples because I just it's like I I it's, it's too hard explaining like hip-hop to like really old people who just you know what I mean like yeah. I don't I don't feel like I need to explain my genre it's the number one genre in the world it's like totally. I'm not yeah. explaining rap to you like, <laughs> you, like, feel can me? you explain to me I'd love to like no <laughs> straight up like I've emailed people and they're just like I don't get this rap thing I'm just like nigga yeah. it is 2019 at the time like how do you whatever I don't know I but yeah. that that process was like it just very it felt very demeaning to me I'm just like this I don't need to be doing but, um, yeah, I just, um, that's not why I asked you that. I just asked you that just for jokes. Because um, I've definitely sampled you something, something oh, okay. before. <laughs> I don't know where, but yeah. uh, I'm just I'm just wondering. Yeah. Anybody who comes by and I sample them, I just want to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> but um, that's basically I can't it. can't afford to sue anyone, so. <laughs> well, that's good. I don't even know if I have a lawyer. <laughs> that's good, because I cannot yeah. afford to be sued. Okay, so. good. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so you do the, the 12th. Not twelve songs, but you'd like build up to something. Yeah. So not on the, the last album, uh, so sad, so sexy. Mm -hmm. I, because I worked with different. Th that was the first time that I worked with like outside producers in that way. So yeah. then I did it differently, and it was actually like the idea. Like when people say like you're not in the pocket, I'm like what pocket? Like I never. I'm like white <laughs> from Sweden. Like you know, like what do you mean? Like I didn't ever think of music rhythm in that way so that yeah. was something new which was really interesting yeah it's an, it is interesting how the rap kind of deconstructs shit in that way yeah it kind of does everything wrong but it's kind of puts shit together really well yeah. but um as it just so the last album was the first one that you changed your process yeah. so everyone before that was you with me and my swedish producer like locked in a room like This, this is random as shit. I don't know if anyone's even asked you about this song, but me personally, one of my personal favorite songs from you is Silent My Song. Mm. That shit is fucking crazy. I just like, I've been trying to figure out what kind of music I like because I just listen to so much. I never really understood what do I like. But I, I think I pinpointed that I like songs that kind of start off slow or start off in a certain way, swell up and explode into something at the end. Yeah. And by the end, it's just this like, Thing that it's just this explosion of like harmonies and what, 
whatever it is the poem yeah. song. That song is like the perfect example of that. I don't even, yeah. You I don't even remember it. it. I I remember it, but I haven't listened to it in a while. The recordings. Yeah. Well, it's amazing. Thank you. To be honest, and I've imitated it several times. Oh, thank you. But I feel like it's kind of depressing if I think about it. It is. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is. <laughs> like read. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like honestly, like. That song, like, I don't know if you even think about that song ever, but like I've been thinking about it for years. Oh, that's so and cool. Yeah. Now, now I'm just working, like, now we just have a laptop in my living room and the piano and like a synth. It's convenient, right? Yeah. It's like, I don't know, it's like it, you, I'm sure you've amassed a lot of like toys and a lot of like things you have or like things you've used over the years, but like sometimes if you just strip everything back, just keep it like bare minimum. Oh yeah, that's my favorite. It's like yeah. it, it clears everything out so then you can build a new like thing. Yeah. I actually do that with like my live show. Like when I do my live show, people have well, most rappers have a DJ and like a million people on stage and like things like that. And that's fine. For me, I only go up there with a laptop and a mic. That's it. Like I trigger all this shit myself and I do that on purpose because A, I couldn't afford a DJ at first, and B, because like, I think keeping it like bare minimum like that and stripped down is just like the best, it's, for me, it's the most hip hop thing you can do to yeah. me. That's why I'm trying to like, no matter what I'm doing, no matter what weird thing you might hear or whether it's like, the root of it is hip hop, it's beats and a microphone. Yeah. That's what you're getting when and I come the to pocket. <laughs> And the pocket. <laughs> and the pocket. Yeah, I just learned. <laughs> the pocket. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, who told you to say? Who told you you weren't Dahi. in the pocket? Now he said you weren't in the pocket. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, what do you mean? Yeah. And like, I admire, you know, like, hip hop and so much, but it's so much, like, the way that that is too, it's a cultural thing and it's like they're very um, relevant, you know what I mean? And they talk about today, like, I'm, like, a, I don't, I'm not culturally, like, at all in the know. I got you. So I'm more interested in like the the timeless poems. I'm kind of I'm actually very similar, but I, unfortunately, I, I feel like sometimes I have to like play to that other side. Yeah. But to me, I if I had my way, I would just make the music and nobody. I don't care what anyone thinks of me personally. Yeah. I want to like that's really my kind of thing. But like yeah, uh, rap fans are very like gouge at each other they just do it they have, you have to be doing something at all times in yeah. this world so <clears throat> actually but i love it because it's like it's also the best music we have right now it's like a total like hip-hop is it's, it's, the most psychedelic and like genre pushing like i agree i love it i, I, I don't know i'm just thankful that i'm here <laughs> um no, I feel like that's really good. Or I'm thankful that I even want to write because that would be the saddest thing in the world to like not want to ever, you know, like when I'm finally in the studio again, which I am now, after every album, I'm like, I'm never going to write again. <laughs> I blow, I suck, like, ciao, I can't do this, I'm tired. Yeah. So like whenever I write a song after that, I'm like, oh, wow, it's yeah. such a gift to just be inspired and to channel something like that is a gift yeah you know absolutely if you don't have that yeah then it's gonna get hard i can't imagine a i don't know i can't imagine a space or a world where i wouldn't be writing music yeah i just don't know what else i'd be doing exactly i don't have any other interests yeah i'm not i'm also not good at anything else i just buy from like every job i'm not even good at that good at music I'm still trying. <laughs> That's not true. The 